Incumbent Mary Bonomack and Palm Springs Mayor Steve Punier. KPSP Local 2's Kimberly Chang is live at Desert Christian Community Church. That's a polling place in Thousand Palms. Kim, good morning. Good morning, Stella and Todd. Yeah, the polls will open at 7 a.m. Now, this next race has certainly been an aggressive one, and we've seen things heat up over the past few months uh, between Republican Representative Bono Mack and Democratic challenger Punier as they separated themselves on key issues like President Obama's health care overhaul. Bono Mack supports a repeal. Punier supports the bill with some tweaks. On Don't Ask, Don't Tell, Punier says the policy should be repealed immediately. Bono Mack says the policy needs to be addressed by our military leaders first. During a live debate in August, Bono Mac and Punier took jabs at each other. You were touting how exciting it was that you brought the Hard Rock Hotel to Palm Springs and Port Lawrence to Palm Springs, which is now in a vacant parking lot. But I guess you probably should be proud of what bringing three marijuana dispensaries to the city of Palm Springs. That's not my idea of jobs. I think it's a fair question. Where, where is our congresswoman? Where is she spending her time? Is she in Florida? Is she in D.C.? Or is she here? Now, Punier referring there to the fact that Bono Mack is married to Florida Congressman Connie Mack. Now, this race has been closely watched on a national lever, uh, level, I should say, because it plays into the battle between Democrats and Republicans to gain control of Congress. We're live in Thousand Palms. I'm Kimberly Chang, KPSP, Local2.com. Back to you. Yeah, Kim, this has been a national uh, race because she's been in office since 98. And then she was on a list on CNN, like top 100 right. uh, you know, politicians who may lose their job, and then they removed her from that list. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it seems like 435 yeah. is a large number of seats, but mm -hmm. with the stakes so high, each one of those 435 seats matters. Kim, thank you. Yeah, and when you think about it, it's been a very close race considering Bono Mack has raised, what, over $2 million, but Punier has raised nearly as much as $2 million, so it's a very, very close race. We'll see what happens when voters head to the ballot box today. Thanks, Kim. And speaking of money, California's campaign for governor is the most expensive one in American history. Republican Meg Whitman has spent $142 million of her own money, but polls show the former eBay CEO is still running behind State Attorney General Jerry Brown. The two have been squaring off since June on issues like the recession and job creation. What we're looking at now is a big, bad recession out there. And that means government's got to, you know, play an important role. We've got to invest. There's stuff to do. You know, I'm a proven job creator. That's what I've done for my entire career. Jerry Brown has been part of the war on jobs in Sacramento for 40 years, and it's going to end on Tuesday. Besides California, a record 37 states will vote for governor today, and Republicans believe they can make major gains in as many as 12 new states. Governors will play vital roles in the 2012 presidential election. Remember, out of the last six presidents, four were governors. And when you head to the polls today, you'll decide who will serve as U.S. Senator for the next six years. Will it be incumbent Barbara Boxer, who has been the junior senator for 17 years, or will you choose Republican challenger Carly Fiorina? Boxer is leading the polls by eight points. The people have to vote. If we have a decent turnout, I'll be back in the Senate fighting for California. And that's why I'm working very hard. Now, when you think something's going in the wrong direction, do you go into the voting booth and say, you know, I think I'll vote for Barbara Boxer, who's been there 28 years? <laughs> you don't do that. It's just not logical. When you think things are going in the wrong direction, you decide that you need to do something different. Now, in the latest field poll, Barbara Boxer is leading her opponent by eight points. Don't you love this time of year? Mm -hmm. It's just so exciting. It really is sort of what makes America great? Uh, I was just about to say that you have the right to vote, so go ahead and do it. And you know, if, whatever you want to, yeah. you know, whoever you want to vote for, but just do it. And if you are going out to the polls, one important question you may be asking yourself, will it rain? Will it snow? Will it sleet? Yeah, depending on when you go. If you go at 7 o'clock this morning.